Hey everybody, how's it going? I am Sethab, and welcome back to another episode. Today, folks, uh, there are two things that I want to do. First off, I will want to do that expansion that I spoke about in my previous episode. And I think that I will also carry on with some breeding for the wyverns. So, if you folks enjoy this episode, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already. And if you have just subscribed, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new content. Also, if you have just subscribed to the channel, why not check out some of my other videos and tutorials here on the channel. Who knows, you might just enjoy them. For those interested in hanging out with me, you can always find me on the Sethtopian Discord. Links to this, of course, can be found down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment from myself. So, with the intro out of the way, as I was saying, the first two things that I want to do would be to do that expansion. We're going to have the radius for the teleporter on, so I know how far I need to go. I don't really want to expand this base much further. I don't want it to be too ridiculous. It's already getting laggy as it is. Okay, got my stuff prepared here. And as you can see, I've got some items. I think that should suffice. I do have some more items in other vaults. And there is a vault in the water breeding facility that also has base items like this. I have moved quite a few of the items because I had them scattered about into this particular storage box and so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to probably go from the outside and break the stuff. I'm not quite sure exactly where to start but um, I'm probably going to start from underneath where my living quarters would be. I think that's the plan. I think I'm going to keep this wall with the fridges and the entrance. So, that's definitely the plan. First things first, before I demolish anything, I need to pick up the torches. I don't want to lose them. And, like so. Nope. No, no, no. No, no. I said pick you up. Like so. And then I go to this one. And pick this one up as well. Like that. And I think there's two more. Yes. I'm also going to eventually add some tech lights in here. I don't think the torches do that much in terms of illuminations. And so the way I'm going to be expanding, because obviously there's a bit of a cliff underneath, as you can see, is I'm going to be going out with ceilings. Then I am going to connect the ceilings with pillars to the ground. So that should create a base for our base let's call it that uh i'm just wondering if i should actually demolish all the windows and stuff probably not i'll do that at a later time just in case i'll need to pick up those lights as well i think i'm gonna try and uh, fully enclose the the bottom but if i can if that's an option it's uh it's a bit dodgy with the S Plus. The Castle mod, Castle Keeps and Forts mod, was good at that in terms of being able to actually cover the gaps. The S Plus mod is quite close to the vanilla stuff, and well, it does offer a bit more versatility in terms of what you can cover. Gosh darn helmet. Let's get this off. There we go. Uh, as I was saying, well, it does offer a bit more versatility and it do get a better coverage of the holes. It's not all that great. And so I guess from that perspective, I kind of do miss the Castle Keeps and Forts mod. But that was quite a big mod and together with the S Plus mod, it did affect the loading time of the server when logging on. So... Plus, I get to use the, the S Plus stuff. I do kind of like the S Plus things. I just wish that uh, they would be better in terms of covering up the holes. That's all. But, I'm not complaining. And so we have that rock there that's going to be in the way. We're going to have to sort that out. I 
Uh, I'm not going to be showing off the entire build. Uh, it, it is going to take a, a while, and obviously I'm going to try and stick to a 30-minute uh, time frame for this video. As you can see, it is quite laggy in terms of picking up the pieces, and that is because of the amount of pieces in my base. Now, there is, I think, I uh, put either 10,000 or 100, no, I think it's 100,000 limit for the pieces that you can use for a base. But once you get this big, you end up getting this sort of lag. So if you do make a boo-boo, you'll have to wait a couple of seconds for it to actually happen, as you're about to see. Okay, any day now? Aha. Okay, something's happening. There we go. It's done. Now, um, so I'm thinking, do I take these walls down now or leave it? Well, the job is done. This is what it now looks like. It's has covered up the entirety of the range for the teleporter so i should not have any issues when teleporting to and from this place with creatures being outside of the base i could not cover the holes well enough so i just left them open uh so i thought i'm gonna put here a little balcony just to enjoy the view on the occasions that i feel like i want to do something and just be lazy kind of I don't know why I like the idea of a balcony, but uh, why the hell not? After all, it is nice and enjoyable. So this is what the base looks like. It is, it is of course with the pillars visible, so it looks like it's on stilts, but can't complain. And it does look pretty nice. I'm quite happy with it. It has given me that additional space up here because this is where I do most of my things. Uh, sometimes I might even do some breeding up here. We've got all the vaults and all the crafting things up here. There's plenty of space, so I am probably gonna have to put down uh, some trophies and maybe some artifacts and stuff like that, just to spruce it up a tad bit. So I put the hatcheries back there and they should be within range of the hitching post. So that means they'll be able to pick up the eggs. Okay, now that we've finished with that, it's time to do some breeding. Now we do have the next, um, what you call it, the next set of mutations for the wire. And I do only have one female. So in order to be firing on all pistons, we do need at least three female wire. That way we do get the eggs faster. And I have bred the pair that I currently have. So the I think it's the fifth mutation with the base male. And we do have some eggs, so let's hatch those bad boys. Are you going to move, please? No? Right, well, let's cancel your patrol and then put you back on patrol. Maybe that works. There you go. Run like it's hot. Also, I have noticed that uh, for some reason... The NPCs that were mounted on creatures have disappeared. Played around with them, trying to get them off. I've removed the saddles. That's not worked. Uh, I'm not going to focus too much on that. I'm going to stick to the plan, and that is, of course, to work on the wyverns. We do want to get those HP mutations. So we should have several legs. I will be looking at it in the next episode, of course. I do want to know what the heck's going on. And honestly hope that I have not lost the NPCs. Because if I did, I lost quite a bit of decent gear with them. It's not anything that I cannot get. Uh, but I would definitely find that frustrating. Just because... Of how long it actually takes to find a decent level NPC. Then you have to tame it. Then obviously the gear. And all that. So yeah. Let's wait for this magic to happen. See what we get. So we'll need. 
two more females to be on our pistons or another mutation in HP. So I think we are currently at 10,770 something or 60 something, something like that. Let's get the pistol ready. So that would be the euthanasia pistol. This is a 212. Okay. Not sure what's up with you, but I am going to check you out just because you did get a mutation, but what you got it in, I am not quite sure. So I'm going to quickly run out here, drop you off, and we'll see what else we can get. I think you're the one, aren't you? You're what we're after. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Well, oh, you got blue underneath you. Nice. I think I have blue. I do think I have that blue. Let's have a look at here. Yeah, so it looks a bit different uh, in terms of darkness so it's a different shade of blue to me there's a slight difference now i don't know it's, if it's something to do with lighting but i do have a similar blue and i do not want to keep you for that reason so i'm sorry plus you didn't get the mutation in health so whatever else mutation you got is worthless yeah i just had a double double check just to make sure that I was correct. And even if there was a slight difference in the blues or whether they were the same, I'm not going to keep two of the same things in terms of colors, mutations, whatever. I'm going to run out of, of, of space really quickly that way. So, 210. Now, let's check out your stats. Uh, yeah. That was a male, of course. So, we do need the females. And you are 200. Not staying, 200 again, not staying, 210, female, okay, yeah, that is the right mutation, careful not to kill it, <laughs> we do not want to have any accidents here, and let's pick you up, you are female number two, Now, normally, I do want to keep the red belly that we have on the female that has been breeding already. But I'm not bothered if I don't get it on the other two females because I'll be keeping the one with the red belly. It is a different color red. It is a brighter color red than I already have. And I know I said I wouldn't keep similar colors, but I do like my red, so... It's one of the colors I can't really get rid of just because I like red. Uh, 202. So you have a mutation apparently. But. Okay, so we've got that red. That's carried over. No visual stuff, and whatever you got in the stats, we are not interested because it's not what we want. Eh. There we go. So let's carry on. Let's go and get some more eggs. We need another female. Uh, we do have plenty of eggs to go through. Maybe we get some gnarly colors as well. Who knows? I think I left uh, the pair here to breed for about half of a real day to get all these eggs. So yeah, we've got them. So that's the one I want to keep. Um, now, if I do have two of those with the red belly, that's going to make me happier. It just means it gives me some leeway in terms of if I make a mistake and accidentally end up killing the wrong one. I have been known to do that, of course. But hopefully that does not happen. I'm also going to have to enclose those thylos there. So when I start breeding the thylos again, I'm thinking of putting down some gates that are made of glass. So that way I can see what is going on. 
and I will, of course, have to figure a way out of designing that. I've got an idea in the back of my head in terms of what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, level 200, we don't care. Sorry, mate. 210. P oh, 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 nearly killed you. Female, oh my lord. Right, okay, we got you. And uh, let's do the behavior thing. We don't want you wandering about aimlessly in the base. I do need your services, albeit for a temporary period, but you are going to help us get our super wyvern. Hmm. Okay. I just keep having this impression that there are bulb dogs there in that enclosure that I've missed out. Okay. Two, ten. You are male. Okay, we'll sort you out. Level 200. Now this guy is level 212. Female. I don't know what is different about you. You did not get the health mutation. Uh, nothing in terms of colors as far as I can see. Let's try and remove that. The hood. Um, nope. So there's nothing special about you. Sorry, but you're going to have to go. Come on. What's wrong with you? There you go. Perfect. 210. And you are female. I should have probably kept that one because I had a red belly. But I've got the two females that I need. 210. Okay, let's get some more eggs and see what happens. It would be nice if I could get some cool colors, maybe even the next mutation. So yeah, this place I kind of want to enclose where the thylos are, so that way I can go with several creatures in terms of breeding. And I think we're onto this one, aren't we? Yep. All right, let's get some more eggs from here. Okay. Uh. We've got the eggs. I was just thinking about what I have in my inventory and see if I can lose some weight to carry some additional eggs, but it doesn't seem to be a thing. I don't really want to drop anything. Okay, it's a bit gnarly at the sand, but I suppose I can drop them here, can't I? Kind of like that. Um, maybe over here. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to drop these eggs. Or where to drop these eggs, because I do have the dead bodies of the wyverns that I have killed. And they are a bit derpy. We do seem to get stuck on them quite a bit. So... Clearly, I want to have access to the baby wyverns when they do hatch. Go on at the ready. And you have to go. Oh, I saw something in the distance. Wowee, that looks so nice. We'll get to that one in a bit. Let's just clear out a path to 10. 200. Look at this guy's wings. Wow, that is such a nice color. That might even go really nice with the blue. I think I might combine that with the blue. I really like that color. I really, really do. Okay, 210 and 200. 200. Wow, this guy has some amazing wings. I like that color so much. Oh, now look what you did to me. <laughs> that's all right. We can get out. We do have the tech gear, so that's going to help us. 
and obviously let's sort out your behavior make sure you are not unwandering and we'll pick you up and we will drop you somewhere safe that is such a nice color i really like it i wonder if that'll go with the yellow body i mean i think that's one of those colors just like that a one that you can see in the distance with the green wings that'll go with pretty much anything it's such a versatile color i like it see i'm thinking i'm thinking with the blues over there that'll look so so amazing and as you can see my raptor which once had a rider on it does not anymore very annoying Hmm. Yeah, I find that somewhat irritating uh, and disturbing. So, I've got the blues over there. I've got some different variations of greens and uh, blue wings. So maybe blue and green might go well together. That's also a thing to look at. Um, where are you? What are you doing? Go on. No brakes on the shift. There is something I want to do. And I want to get rid of this. That's that. I've been carrying that cable for quite some time with me. And uh, so... Yeah, uh, sorry. Sorry for uh, spacing out. Uh, <laughs> I'm just a bit irritated with the fact that the NPCs are not there but I'll try and figure that one out I'm gonna try and figure that one out I do wonder though if they've fallen through the mount and the floor so I'll check that out as well there's quite a few things to to go through I've got a checklist to go through and I'm going to try and find those NPCs if they are to be found at all. We will enable wandering on you. Let's get the next generation of Thylo so we can get rid of you. And then that means we'll have the base pair for the breeding sessions. As a separate thing, I am super, super duper hyped for Fallout 76. I hope it will not be a massive disappointment for myself. But... Because I have pre-ordered it, I am down for the beta, so once it releases in a couple of days on PC, I will quickly download it and I will play the heck out of that game. I just hope that they have learned from their launch of uh, The Elder Scrolls Online. So that is a game that is coming to the channel. If you guys are looking forward to that, do you guys like fallout because i do like the fallout series i do like the elder scrolls series as well uh, i'm not a big fan of the online version i haven't played it in a long time uh but when it was initially released it was boring as all hell and basically i i could not it was just torture to play i could not play it so hopefully they've learned from that and the game looks good i did watch uh several gameplay videos just to get a bit of a feeling and uh, see what to expect from the game and from what I've seen in terms of the gameplay videos that I have watched it does look like it's going to be a decent game the only concern I have is apparently there will not be any human NPCs which I mean it might work don't know how that's gonna end up working but I am not going to try and go in with a negative thought I do have high expectations of Bethesda to deliver a good game and apparently there's some something about a single player sort of deal so I'm curious how that's gonna work I've tried not to spoil the game for myself too much. I did watch, as I said, a video 
I think it was a two, three hour video, but that was a online gameplay with other people, and I think it was still in its test phases and all that. Um, so, we'll see what happens when it comes out. The other thing that I want to see is how the world is designed. And the other thing that I'm actually looking forward to with this Fallout is, of course, the storyline. To me, as a PvE player, the storyline is quite important and that is a big thing that I will be focusing on. And so, therefore, I'm quite intrigued about the servers, if they will be just PvP all out and how that's going to work. So, that's an interesting mechanic. I do want to see what they come up with. Uh, at the same time, I do, of course, fear the possibility of being trolled. Uh, I know that's a thing on PvP servers. And it's one of the reasons that I'm not a big fan of the PvP servers and... At the same time, it's also a major reason for which I have my own uh, ARC servers. Not a big fan. I don't. I can't be bothered with the trolls and all that. I just want to simply enjoy the game. So it's going to be interesting to see what is in place for those that do want to troll. And definitely, definitely hyped. Uh, I'm going to try and release the first video for Fallout when it comes live on the PC. Obviously, I will be playing it on the PC. I know it's already out at this time for the console. And I did have a console, but I did sell it because I did not use it. Now, we do have a purple wyvern over here. This guy is bright, and this guy is a dark purple. Uh, now... Half of me wants to kill it, the other half wants to keep it. So I think I shall listen to the positive side of me, which says keep it, and I'm going to keep it for the moment. Now I can hear a... a wyvern around here. This one, okay. I'm just worried about them getting out and uh, causing havoc. <laughs> Don't want to be chasing them around this sort of a base. It's too big, uh, it's going to be a pain to try and find them. Now, I do have this guy, which makes me ask myself, do I want to keep you? I think I have a similar color with you. I mean, is this, why would you call this albino? Uh, do you know what? Let's, let's check. So, I'll pick you up. I'm going to quickly have a look around to see what I've currently kept. I mean, I'm not that bothered about keeping it. It is a color that you can find in the wild. And so I guess because I've seen it so many times, I'm not that bothered about keeping it. Okay, let's have a look at the end. Oh, well, that's, that's proper albino, that right there. And you're more of a gray. Well, that sucks for you, mate. Nearly made it, but not close enough. Sorry. Bye. Okay. Oh, that raptor is really doing my nut in. The fact that there's no rider on you. Oh. I just hope I haven't lost everything. <laughs> okay. So, 210, not a keeper. And 210 again. We don't want you. 200. Nope. Not good enough. Nope. Sorry, mate. And you are 200 again. We don't want you. 210. Don't want you as well. And if we get to you, that would be great. 200. Okay, well. Definitely not going to keep you. I think... Oh, hello. Like so. Uh, as I was saying, I think I am going to end the episode here. It has been quite uh, a long journey today. We've done quite a bit. 
that is it for this episode folks if you have enjoyed it please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already and if you have just subscribed remember to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new content also for those interested in hanging out with me you can always find me on the septopia discord links to this of course can be found down below in the video description as well as in a pinned comment until next time stay safe folks